Well, this Sunday marks 21 years since the attacks on the World Trade Center. As we remember 9-11, it is a time to reflect. The Honorable George Pataki was governor on that fateful Tuesday morning. He led New Yorkers as we mourn for the more than 2,700 lives lost at Ground Zero. The governor then directed the recovery efforts and the rebuilding of the World Trade Center and Lower Manhattan. Governor Pataki joins us now. And Governor, good morning. Thanks for being with us here today. Thank you, Chris. Good morning. Nice being with you. Hey, every year, you know, the memories fade just a little bit, though it really never leaves the forefront of people's mind. But why is it so important that we all remember 9-11 each year? Well, I think it's extremely important, particularly for those who weren't born, weren't even around on September 11th, because it represents America at its best after that attack. We saw the world at its worst, the terrorist attack that killed almost 3,000 innocent New Yorkers. But when we, then we saw Americans, New Yorkers, come together in a way I've never seen in my lifetime. And I'll always think of September 11th with two different emotions. First, a tremendous sense of loss for those who were killed on that horrible day. But then the sense of pride, the way we responded, the fact New Yorkers came together, rushed to the site. Americans from all over rallied to give us the support we needed to get through that horrible time. And you look at Lower Manhattan now, and we can look back and say that, yes, it was a horrible day, but it brought us together and it allowed us to build and rise to new heights. What was it like for you as governor on that day? How long did it take for you to understand how deep this tragedy was? Mary, it didn't take that long at all. You know, I was watching the the tower with the first plane having been hit. And then I saw the second plane hit and right away knew we, were, knew we were under attack. We didn't understand the magnitude of the loss, the fact that we'd lose almost 3,000 people when the towers came down. But I knew that we were under a terrorist attack and uh, that we had to respond. And, you know, just one aside, I was in New York City that morning and the troopers had the helicopter come to take me to the command bunker in Albany. And in my 12 years as governor, that's the only time I said, no, I'm not listening to my security detail. I have to be in New York. I have to see what's happening and talk to the people. And it was just tragic and sad. But at the same time, the courage New Yorkers showed just, but just couldn't help but lift you up. To that point, Governor, you, you talk about the actions obviously you have to take to secure the city when you realize the city's under attack. But also, as you mentioned, you didn't want to leave because you almost had to play, uh, I guess, the, a, a consoling figurehead at that point to console the people of New York City and around the world. Well, you had to be there, I think, one, to show that uh, we weren't going to be afraid. Uh, 21 years later, uh, you don't realize the enormous uncertainty. Were we going to face further attacks? Was this the beginning of something that would be far greater? And there was a great deal of fear about the future. And just being able to walk the streets and show that uh, I had confidence we would get through this. The people of New York had confidence we'd, we'd get through this, I think was very important. And when it comes to consoling the family members, you know, the, the tragedy that they experienced to lose your husband, your wife, your two children, your parents, uh, I drew strength from those families because for all their loss, uh, their courage, their strength, their understanding that we had to stand together was something that really, I think, inspired a nation. Yeah, the bravery that was shown that day. Oh, after the attack, you led the rebuilding of Lower Manhattan. Now seeing it, what do you think? I'll tell you, Mary, I'm very proud of what we were able to do there. Uh, I got so much grief because everybody wanted it done instantaneously. And I said over and over again, this is about the future. This is about telling the story for people who weren't there or weren't born. And you look at the memorial today, we've done that. I'm proud of that. And Governor, I know it's been 21 years, but we know New York will never forget. We lost so many people on that day, and they're still in the headlines every week of the people getting sick from their work at Ground Zero, um, from the cancers that it has caused to now. We just had a report this week of people that worked on the pile suffering from dementia at, at an early age. Do you think 9-11 will truly ever be over for New Yorkers? I, I don't. I think it will always be a part of our history, and I think it should always be a part of our history. We have to honor those we lost. But as you mentioned, Chris, the ones who are suffering today still uh, with health or other consequences of that horrible time. And uh, the families will never get over their loss. And, and we have to continue to stand with them. But one of the sad things to me, Mary and Chris, is that day and for months thereafter, we were as unified 
as I've ever seen in my lifetime. We were all Americans. We weren't Republicans, Democrats, black, white, east, west. We were Americans. We had been attacked and we were going to stand together. And today we are as divided as I've ever seen in my life. And we need a leader who's going to look to bring us together and not drive us further apart for political gain. Governor George Pataki, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us, former New York governor, as we look back at 21 years. And we will have much more of our special coverage of remembering 9-11. That starts Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m.